trees. Stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Can't wait to taste this. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Well, I'll take what I can get. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that.
I reckon I'm gonna think about it.
there, Mr. Morgan? Fine. Mm, what's it like? A decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay, as long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. Prove it again. I think she'd prove the Earth was flat if you said you cared for her. But I do care. That's one way of describing you, but there's others. You're all right, boy.
Morgan. Arthur, get that horse out of here. Just calm down. Yeah. Are you well? Still breathing, I guess. Why don't you sit, Arthur? <laughs> you okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Yeah.
Oi. Yep. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Okay, let's take a look. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. I'll be able to make you something out of this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Here, make it 
can't get cleaned up clean, I'll do it myself. Oh, damn. That's good. That's your lot. Listen, you couldn't give me a blanket. I thought I was the butcher. Food, you? Sure. Blood, you want a bottle of champagne with that, too? Coming right up. Have a lovely meal, folks. What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. No can do. It is good to be off that mountain. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. Kinda like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mine too. Mine too. Easy, boy. You're okay. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Get up.
Ah, this is all right. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. This way. Come on. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizards. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I... Proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Mister? Take a good Hello. look around. See what we got here. Oh shit! Whoa! 
left here down the main street there's always on the right or you can pick up some bounties there Arthur heaven forbid you put your head on the line <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game <laughs> Ooh, yes we can get up to some mischief here all right just remember keep a low profile will you remember that though Arthur probably not up down the end there, near the stables. What's your problem here? Just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> Come on, try and help people. Are you joining me or not? Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... Come on. Use your strength to help the weak. Okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers.
Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? Your You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right Go now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Trust you got, folks. Step right up. Can I help you, sir? No trouble now, please. to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! Waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope, uh, everything's okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who 
Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! Hey, set my horses! Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Why me? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Yeah. your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. No 
meal is complete if it don't got meat. <laughs>